OK, so we're going to go through another problem here where we've got an improper fraction. So I'm going to have to use polynomial division before I use partial fractions in order to integrate this thing here. OK, so I've got an improper fraction because I've got a cubic in the numerator and a quadratic in the denominator. OK, so it's considered an improper fraction when the highest power of x in the numerator is the same as or greater than the power of x in the denominator. So what I first of all want to do is to simplify this fraction using polynomial division. I'm going to multiply out the denominator. OK, so I want to divide this cubic by this quadratic. So x squared, 2x minus 3. And I'm going to need 2x cubed, OK, for my multiplication grid. So x squared into 2x cubed gives me 2x. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 2x times minus 3 is minus 6x. OK, now I've got 4x squared already. I need 7x squared, so I'm going to need another 3x squared. So I'm going to have to have 3 there. 3 lots of 2x is 6x. 3 lots of minus 3 is minus 9. OK. Now, I need 6x. I've got minus 6x and 6x, which is 0x. So I'm going to need another 6x in order for that, those 3 to add up to 6x. So I'm also going to need minus 9. Uh, I need minus 7, so I'm going to add 2. So it's a 6x plus 2 there. So what I can now do is say this integral is the same as 2x plus 3 plus 6x plus 2, the remainder over the denominator, the x minus 1, x plus 3. OK, so I'm now in this position. Now, with the 6x plus 2 over x minus 1, x plus 3, I've got to use partial fractions for that. Now, uh, for that, <coughs> sorry. So, uh, what well, we've got, 6x plus 2 over x minus 1, x plus 3. That'll be equivalent to a over x minus 1 plus b over x plus 3. So multiplying both sides by the x minus 1, x plus 3, we'll get 6x plus 2 is equivalent to a lots of x plus 3 plus b lots of x minus 1. So now we can choose values of x to substitute in to knock out those brackets. So if we let x be 1 to knock out that bracket, We'll have 6 lots of 1 plus 2, which is just 8, is 1 plus 3, so 4 lots of a. So that means that a is 2. Now, if I let x be minus 3 to knock out that bracket, I'm going to have 6 lots of minus 3, so minus 18, plus 2 is minus 16. Minus 3 take away 1 is minus 4, so minus 4b. Divide both sides by minus 4 gets me to 4. So b must be 4. So I can now say the integral is the integral of 2x plus 3 plus a over x minus 1, so 2 over x minus 1, plus b over x plus 3, so 4 over x, minus, uh, x plus 3, sorry, dx. So that's that section. So, last line is the actual integration. So 2x integrates to x squared. 3 integrates to 3x. 2 over x minus 1 integrates to 2 log x minus 1. And 4 over x plus 3 integrates to 4 log x plus 3 plus c, constant of integration. And that is the answer we're looking for.